my first breakdown on the husky. Woo, woo. And then I have it. What's up? It's Wild Bill the Night Owl with another video. Today I'm going to talk about... Yeah, I did have... <laughs> uh, I went to do that lawn down the street. All of a sudden, I got all trimmed done and everything. I went to, I take, to take one pass on the Husky. All of a sudden, I hear something different, like the blades aren't turning. Of course, the blades aren't turning. So now, I've never done this before. Uh, I checked the belt, the belt's fine. There's a cable, oh actually there's a spring connected to the tensioner with a cable that broke there and it goes all the way up to the thing that you turn the blades on. So, I, I, I don't know, but I guess that's minor compared to Gerald Greenlee and Josh. Uh, well, how I started out in lawn care. You know, it's weird because when I was younger, I'm talking about like my teens and stuff like that, all the way up to, I don't know, uh, 30, 35, something like that. Um, I hated cutting lawns. Oh, couldn't stand cutting my parents' lawn. I just hated cutting lawns, period. Now I did have uh, about seven lawns when I was 12 years old. Back then, I didn't, you know, nobody really used the weed eater, you know, electric and stuff like that. All I did was just mow. So, gosh, I remember charging $10 for a medium sized yard. That was, yeah, that was about the going rate, you know, I don't know. That was, that was a long time. But anyway. As the years went by, I don't know, I, it was 2014, I remember that year, 2014, pastor of my church, he says, Bill, you want to cut the grass? I'm like, uh, how much? And he says, hundred. All right, I didn't know, you know, I'm like, oh, $100, you know. Well, when I started getting into it, that lawn, <laughs> it was a lot more than $100. So, I fixed that problem fast. Uh, I don't really say my prices. Yeah, I started getting serious in 2014. I started getting lawns that... You know, I knew the people, and they were, you know, old and stuff, so they would pay me to do it. And I started liking it. I actually started liking it. Um, after that, I remember I started out with a, I despise craftsmen. Sorry if you all, if, if people like crafts, I hate craftsmen. For one thing, <clears throat> I don't know if all of them is, but mine was front wheel drive. Man, that thing was old, but it was heavy. And with front wheel drive going up those hills, nah. Then it started to, uh, 
Every time it heated up, it would stall on me. I'm like, oh, come on. It, I would actually have to sit down for 10 minutes to cool it off. Start it back up. Always a pain in the butt. I had a Craftsman weed eater. <clears throat> Junk. I tell you what, it, the spool, you wind it and everything, you get it all in there, and then you got two <clears throat> holes. One, one, you know, you're goodness I can't even talk today all right what I'm trying to say is basically you got two holes in the spool <clears throat> for the string you get it all wrapped up and everything and, and you put it all in you trimming okay all of a sudden you see one string really so it took me forever, you know. I, I and then the thing, the thing would shut off. I, I replaced a spark plug, uh, the filter, you name it. You know that thing would just shut off. I'm like, oh my word. As the years went by, you know, I I stuck with it. I stuck with the crappy equipment that I had. I used to have a broom. I didn't have a blower. I gradually got into other things, like cleaning up brush. Uh, I never trimmed the hedge. You know, when I, my first time I trimmed the hedge, oh my word, <laughs> it was terrible. <clears throat> you just learn it. If you really want to, you will learn it. If you don't want to, you're not going to learn anything. Yeah, I, I'm i like, all I did was push mill. That's all I did was push mill. And I was happy with it. It was only recent where I got the Cub Cadet. In fact, because of this yard and that yard. That's when I got a rider, well, a tractor. I hate push mowing now. I hate it. I mean, I don't mind a little bit of it. Get some exercise and stuff like that. Also, I started getting into buying newer equipment I went from a craftsman to an echo weed eater I remember buying that weed eater uh, now don't get me wrong I mean echo was you know it's, it's I, I like echo you know but I'm a steel guy but I thought Man, when I bought it, I was it was a curve shaft. I was always used of a curve shaft. So I, I was so proud of it and everything, and then I'm like, oh, the spool. I wish I had the spool. You just take two pieces of a string, you cut it, and then you put it in to each hole. Okay. That spool, I thought was the best. Uh-uh. Because once the string breaks, you got to have another, you know, got to keep putting it and keep putting it. Oh, my word. It got to be a pain in the butt. Until I, until I uh, heard about the speed feed, 400. When I got the speed feed, 400, I will not go back to any weed eater head than that. No way. There's nothing better than 
a speed fee 400 or 450 I have the 450 <clears throat> to me that's that's my opinion I will never go back to any other you know well then then I'm like you know what I'm I'm doing these hills sideways and my Honda oh I was so proud of uh, when I bought that Honda I always wanted a Honda they will not die my my dad had a Honda one of those old ones with the you push down and then you go and everything you let off and pops up oh that's old but anyway I was so excited I'm like oh Honda the Honda HRN to me the only big con I have with it is a stupid plastic wheels with a little teeny bit of rubber it don't grip nothing I'm telling you you go it, it's basically more for little hills you go up and down and side to side whatever and flat ground flat ground but you do like say my mom's lawn she's got a big hill in the back and you're like this Man, that thing was sliding all the, all over the place. I'm like, oh my word, I should have got the HRX. But that was more expensive. Now I know why I got it for $419. I mean, now, now it's like $500 some dollars. Because everything's going up. And I hated gardens with a passion. I don't really like doing, you know, mulching and stuff like that, but... When you get it done, you look at it and you're like, wow, I did that. You know, it looks beautiful. So, it's it's worth what, you know, and plus there's good money into it. Yeah, I just started learning more, I start doing more. There's a lot of people that say this. I hear this all the time. Oh, man. I love cutting grass. I could do it, you know, all, all the time. When the humidity comes, or when it's really hot out, they don't want to do it. It's too hot. Everybody wants to do lawn care until it gets hot. Hey, that's all part of the deal can't control the weather I had this one guy from my church he comes up to me he says Bill man uh, I'm gonna get into lawn care because he, he he did like something about bugs or something I don't know um, I said oh, yeah he says yeah well <laughs> I have to laugh because he says I said, you, can you take the heat? He says, well, I mean, I could take up to 80 degrees. I told him, Gary, you're, you're not going to make it. Don't even try it because it's going to get a lot hotter than 80 degrees. But yeah, I... When I first start pricing, I actually had customers tell me a price. I'm like, oh, okay, all right, you know. Wrong thing to do. Dumb thing to do. The way I price stuff. Now, there's a lot of people that price good. Square feet and, you know, stuff like that. Me, I, I just look at the yard. All right, well, I think I talked too much. I, I I hope you enjoyed this. Say a prayer for my mom. Because I'm really taking it hard. I really am. Yeah. Be nice to somebody. And I will see you on the next one.
Amen.